Hello, welcome to this video on Mintos peer lending platform where we shall analyze some data. Mintos is a peer-to-peer -peer lending platform which I believe is, is around since 2015. You can invest individual loans, um, mostly from Eastern Europe countries, most in Euro, some also in other currency, in uh, Russian ruble, in Mexican peso here and here. Uh, you have interest rates uh, which aren't too bad uh, for today's uh, circumstances in, in the euro, in most currency actually, of around 12-13%. And what is interesting is that under Mintas statistics, I believe you re it requires you to be locked in. Um, you can download the whole loan book, uh, which uh, is 13 million loans, all loans ever offered on Mintas since 2015. And uh, when you click the link, you get a uh, uh, it downloads a zip file, uh, which consists of several Excel sheets. We shall be using R. Uh, on a side note, uh, probably it's best to, to use some kind of Apache Spark, which for R you have Sparkly R uh, implementation, but it didn't work with my usual workflow, which uh, you use a lot of deployer code, even though it should. Uh, so I should just use basic R uh, memory management. I already loaded the, the data. Is it here? My data. Um, it's quite large. Uh, here you have 2.7 gigabyte. Uh, is this data alone of these 13 million records? So it didn't work on my laptop, and therefore I'm now using my uh, stationary PC. So let's have a look at the, the variables, the columns that are offered. You see the idea, which you can go look up uh, on Mintos. Uh, you see all the, the dates, issue, closing, listing, the country of origin, the loan originator, which is basically the company offering the loans. Um, you see if the loan has a buyback guarantee. Um, so buy buyback guarantee on Mintos is that if the loan uh, isn't repaid, uh, then the company, the originator, um, comes into play and refunds you after 60 days, which isn't too bad. It seems to work uh, mostly, uh, with I believe one exception. There was one company that wasn't solvent and couldn't repay. Um, so what I like to analyze is uh, the the characteristics in relation to one another. Um, therefore, we shall uh, create a correlation matrix, which I had open at the beginning. Let's zoom in, because that's how we have. And basically, you see here the, the characteristic or the column, the rate, the term, the LTV, which is the loan to value or the leverage of a loan, the total amount of the loan, in thousand, the currency, uh, does it have a buyback guarantee? Yes, no. Um, is there collateral listed? And of course, the listing year. And on the diagonal, you see the distribution uh, for of, the, of the characteristics. So let's have a look at the um, interest rates. And you see um, 2019 is here this pink one. Uh, it's quite a large, large variety between um, 7% and 15 or even 16, 17% uh, of interest rates. You had mostly between uh, uh, around 13% interest rates in the past. Um, the term you see most are very short term, uh, one month, two months. Same for the LTV, most doesn't, don't have any um, LTV. Uh, information, so it's zero. Um, others are around 70%, say. And you have the amount, which again, most are uh, short-term, like individual debt of an individual person. You have the currency, most majority, large majority is euro. We have in the recent years, um, some in, in other currencies. Uh, most majority again of loans, basically there's almost no, which don't offer a buyback guarantee on Mintas. Most have a buyback guarantee. Um, most don't have collateral. 
but instead have a, a buyback guarantee. And the year you see the, the growth that you had on Mintos over the past years. One of the major players, I believe, in P2P lending. And now what is interesting about this correlation graph is the correlation of, say, uh, the interest rate and the, and the currency. So you see that euro currency have an interest rate of, uh, say, 12%. Uh, other currencies uh, of 17% say. Or you see the correlation between the amount of the loan and the interest rate. So you see that the, or you can look at it here, amount and the interest rate, you have a positive correlation of 0.2. Um, so higher amount, higher amount you, uh, one person lend, um, borrows, the higher is the interest rate on the extreme. Um, and again, you see the whole distribution, say you want to compare the, um, the, the term and the year. You see again, you can have a look at it here in this um, distribution or on the, the, well, the year and the term. Most again, very short term. Um, again, a couple that are longer term, several years, but majority of the craft uh, the loans are are very short term. So that's about uh, the correlation of the loan characteristics. And next, let's have a closer look at the interest rates. Uh, first on currency euro only. Um, I like to use simple n because otherwise it's just too much um, computation that is doing. Look, it's taking a couple of seconds already. And just to compute, and now you see the distribution, uh, the, the, the interest rate, the box plot. You see in 2015 you had an average of 13, it went down to 12 and a half, uh, to 12 in 2017, 2018, uh, 11 and a half, and most recently in 2019 uh, it spiked again. So it's back to 13% as at back in 2015, uh, which is an interesting. Uh, observation. Now, of course, the question is, is this due to higher risk or is there other and other characteristics that plays a role here? I cannot say at the moment. Um, now let's again compare the interest rate uh, with the originator, the country and the currency, again in a, a correlation matrix. And as you see, it is struggling a bit. Now we got it. It's taking a moment for computation, but here it is. Um, so you again, you see the, the interest rate is somehow somewhat dependent on the the, the country. You have the Latvia, which has uh, the lowest interest rate of the observation now here, and you have Ukraine, uh, Russia was a bit higher, Armenia, Georgia, uh, which was also pretty low. You see um, the origin, originator, and uh, which originator do have higher, offer higher interest rates. That's uh, banknote, which is pretty low. Uh, dinero, lendo, average, uh, tango, and of course the, the currency. Uh, you have the euro, which is, as we saw here, at 12%. Uh, other currencies, other ruble, uh, the Russian ruble, pretty high. Uh, again, that's just information that you try to get when you have a look at the data. Um, basically, what, I, what is next is uh, I want to have a look at the default rates of the Mintos credits. Um, Mintos does have a rating D, um, which means uh, there's default. Uh, but as I saw, there's pretty few that they actually rate this default. And they have another um, column called loan status and given loan status is default so you, you see here default again very few that they actually um, call default and um, they some of them they call finished in bad debt and probably there's some chance of ever getting back your money uh, there's also some that are late more than 60 days but wait there's a buyback guarantee and at least most of them um, why haven't they been bought back? So let's have a closer look at this. 
Um, basically, I want to define the default rate at uh, if it hasn't been repaid or if there is some outstanding amount of at least uh, 5% and that's 60 days after uh, closing date. This table, you see that, uh, that here's the closing year. You have the total count count of loans. You have the amount in euro because I selected euro and the amount lost. And now you see the, the percentage and you see it's still pretty low. They only have um, most recently in 2019 0.57% um, of the amount that is actually lost. And you uh, as a count that's 0.8%. Um, so less than a percent is actually default. Um, which is quite impressive. I was originally um, assuming that it would be higher. Again, let's have a look at it by originator. So which originator do have the highest default? And you do see that there is um, considerable um, differences. Again, this is on the euro. And you have here one, which is Money Man. I believe Money Man is offering uh, loans in Mexico, which has 15% uh, default. Uh, but most of them are quite low. Um, so let's see at the ones that actually have um, big loans outstanding. Dinero, 0.6%. Um, uh, you have, who is big and Mentos? Lendo, 0.09. That's minimal. And you have, who else is big? Cebo, um, 0.2. Um, so actually default rates are um, pretty low. You see it also by country. Um, you have countries which have higher uh, defaults here. Mexico, 15%. Um, that's pretty bad. And then there is most countries that have very um, small interest rates. Sweden, <laughs> Moldova, uh, or Kenya. Um, and now let's have a look at the a similar from non-euro loans. Uh, you see that even here our loans it's one uh, percent um, default. Again, that's 2019, and that's um, taking into account loans um, that haven't been repaid for 60 days. Um, of course, there's some chance that you actually get your money back after 90 days or after after even a longer. Um, time span, um, but that's how I classify. You get one percent, which is still pretty low considering um, the the high interest rates that you get on on Mintos. And again, by the loan originator and currency, uh, you see that the loss is um, is dependent, is different. Uh, you see again the Money Man, which is like an outlier. Um, but most of them are pretty low. Um, so what is the, the conclusion? Well, I do recommend that you uh, check out Mintos. It's an interesting platform, especially considering now uh, what we've seen. Um, default is pretty low. And the risk, of course, it is individual. There was a euro cent Mintos uh, problem. Oops, can we have it in, in English? Uh, and Eurocent is um, a, was a loan originator on Mintos that also offered buyback guarantee, and they went uh, uh, bust. They they couldn't refund you the, the the money, and there were some defaults caused. So basically, what you should um, know is that don't put uh, all of your eggs in one basket. Uh, I suggest that you buy loans from several loan originator just portfolio diversification and then you're pretty much uh, safe also consider um, the exchange rates so if you invest in uh, in foreign currencies and we see a drop in the currency you're gonna lose money on that side and um, so that's from my side have a look at the code if you're interested have a look at the data maybe you find more insights and thanks for watching and goodbye.